Oh my goodness, it's been years since I've seen these. A salt and pepper shaker set. And just wait till you see how they fit together. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's early on a Sunday morning and Miley and I are here at my favorite Goodwill on Rainbow and Cheyenne. Now, as you're watching this, my family and I are up at Navajo Lake. We're actually coming back today on Thursday. Uh, it's been really an impromptu trip, a surprise for my birthday planned by my lovely husband. So uh, I'm sure we had a fantastic time and we will be sharing some footage with you in my next video. So Miley is here. Hi. There she is. We need to look for some cat related items, Mike, for my whatnot sale that's coming up on August 23rd. It's a Wednesday at 3 p.m. That's going to be on the Niche Ladies channel on whatnot. If you're not signed up for whatnot, please use my code to sign up. I'll pop it on the screen here. <laughs> <laughs> and whatnot will give you $15 to spend. So I have my Thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags. So let's go in and see what we can find. <laughs> let's, let's go thrifting. thrifting! I don't remember the last time I thrifted on a Sunday. It's definitely been a while. So it's going to be interesting to see how full and stocked the shelves are. We'll have to remember to see what the color of the day is. It's a beautiful day here in Vegas, as you can see, just a few clouds. It's about, uh, I'd say 85 degrees already. Lovely day. Ooh, if you have not got your tickets for the Boss Reseller Remix yet, it's coming up in October. Uh, October 16th through 19th. So hop over to their website and take a look uh, some fantastic speakers this year. I am honored to be included in the speaker lineup. If you can't make it in person, you can also join us virtually. And with my code, I'll put it on the screen here, ThriftLV, you can get $10 off of your virtual ticket. So here we are. Let's look at the color of the day, Mai, and uh, we'll go inside and see what they have. Okay, let's grab a cart here. Thank you. Our color of the day is blue. All blue tags are 50% off. Several of you asked me why I don't pick up flash glass. Flash glass was historically produced as an inexpensive alternative to red or cranberry glass, which requires gold oxide to give it its color. Flash glass has a light red stain over clear glass, and more often than not, it has scratches and nicks and wear. Except for a few rare souvenir pieces, flash glass doesn't hold much value. But if you like it, by all means, go ahead and pick it up. Here we are in the hard goods section. Let's take a look at these shelves and see what we can find. Some dolls up top. I always check the boxes because you just never know what you're going to find. Lots of figurines, some Blue's Clues bubbles, little baskets. Many of you ask me how I know what to look for when I'm standing in front of these Goodwill shelves. And it's just like any other shopping. You look at everything until you find something that catches your eye. Three little trinket boxes here. I don't think there's going to be enough profit in those to make it worth my while. So we'll leave those. Some monkeys in a bag. This looks like a point of sale. Uh, faux leather box. Something a watch or piece of jewelry might come in. Some candlesticks. 
what else can we find? A picture frame. Oh, look at these. A pair of little cats. They're made of terracotta. These would look absolutely lovely in a garden or a window box full of flowers or in a display with other cats. There's a basket here. This is quite an interesting shape. Quite like that. Let's pop this into our cart carefully. No damage. It will be great for my cat whatnot sale coming up uh, Wednesday the 23rd. It's going to be on the Niche Ladies Whatnot channel. We're going to be live from the Good Stuff Thrift Store where I have my vintage booth. This is a nutcracker, I think. It's quite unique. Little candle holders. I think this elephant is missing its lid. Lots and lots of candles and holders here. This one says Lily on it. Looks like a big lots piece, originally $4. Oh, here is a couple of interesting things. Back there is a trinket box, it looks like. Oh, it's actually a music box. Well, let's have a look at this. It's Santa Claus. I originally thought it was a trinket box. Oh, I think it's a bit broken. Amazingly, it's still working. It's not a uh, vintage or expensive piece. Made in China. Little children go around the tree inside. I think we'll leave that because it's so broken. This on the other hand is definitely vintage. It's a brass candlestick that takes one of the peg candle holders. Only four dollars but it's blue tag which means it's two dollars on sale. Let's pop that into our cart. We'll keep going here. Always check ashtrays. Some of them, especially the old Vegas ones, can sell quite well. Down here is a lovely artisan pottery platter. Look at this. Beautiful colors. I love the flow. You can see that it's handmade there. This would be fantastic with some candles on or a display of collectibles and it's only three dollars. Let's pop this into our card. We'll keep going here on the bottom shelf. We don't want to miss anything. Little hanging piece there. Some planters and a knife block. What's this? I think this is a tile sample. Back here, possibly a console bowl. It's in the shape of a leaf. Oh, I think it's a wall hanging actually. <laughs> Could be used as a console bowl though. Oh my goodness, it's been years since I've seen these. A salt and pepper shaker set. And just wait till you see how they fit together. There's a mannequin style head with a slice of cherry pie on a hat. They're made by Vandor called Top Notch Toppers. This is the original box. And what you do is put the hat onto the mannequin head like that. I've actually got this on backwards, I think. But you get the idea. I'll show you it the right way round during my haul. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so thrilled to have found it in its original box. They're asking $6 for it, but I think there's still room for some profit. We'll keep going here. This is a trinket dish with silver overlay, 25th anniversary. The market for that is a bit narrow with the subject matter, so we'll leave it. This is a contemporary jar. I think it originally had biscotti in it. Look at this. This is definitely vintage. It's a wall pocket. Little trellis with a pot with blue roses. As you can see, it's got an old crack across the back, but I don't think that matters. It's not visible from the front. Really, really vintage, fun piece. I love it. Only $4. We'll pop that into the cart as well. Next to it here 
is a piece of ironwood. It's a marlin. Now on these, usually the nose is broken, but unfortunately, as you can see on this one, both of the front fins are gone. That's such a shame. And we'll have to leave that on the shelf. What else can we find here? All sorts of bits and bobs. There's a flute. Something's fallen through the shelf here. We'll rescue that. Toothbrush holders, candle holders, little tray. Oh, look at this. This is Sally of the Peanuts Gang. It's a little brass plaque. Looks like it was attached to something. Love is a valentine with lace all around the edges. That's absolutely super. Even though it doesn't have the back and it doesn't have a price either, let's pop that into the cart and see if we can find what it originally was attached to. This is a Vegas plastic drink holder. It's a bowl with a swan. I think that's for an air plant. Very, very thin glass. Not sure I would want to ship that. These look like candle wick, but I actually think they're anchor hocking. Only probably about eight to twelve dollars for the pair of those. So uh, at a dollar ninety nine a piece, I'm going to leave those on the shelf. More candles. It's another plate with roses. Sadly, some chips on that. We'll leave it. Oh, look at these. These are ring holders uh, for by the sink or by your bedside. Little crystal pieces. I love that there are two matching ones. Let's pop these into the cart. These sell really, really well for me. I love ring holders. And the fact that they're not only beautiful but useful makes them a really good find. Let's check up top here. This is an interesting basket. It looks like it's woven with some sort of rope fabric. Unfortunately, the rope is missing from around the top handle and it does look a bit worn. So for that reason, I think we will leave it on the shelf. Maybe somebody who can finish up the project will find it and uh, give it a great new home. Lots of sconces, candle holders, balloon holder centerpieces. There's an octopus here. Looks like he sat atop of something originally. Little milk churn, bottle. What else can we find? A hurricane lamp. This is a candle holder. I think it had a top on it. It's party light. These always look like little medieval castle turrets to me. Some plates back here. What else? Some little pin backs. All sorts. Little swan, that's plastic. More sconces and racks. Frames and placemats. Here's a Snoopy decoration. No sign of the plaque that goes behind Sally yet. Some tools. Just scanning the shelves, trying to take in everything. Baggies. Christmas ornaments here. The turkey. A very, very large pear that's made of paper mache, I think. Oh, this fellow is very interesting. 
Wobblers Woods. He is also made of paper mache. He's a patriotic piece, very artisan looking. I'm not familiar with the artist, so I'm going to pop him in the cart and uh, have a look on eBay. This looks like Pioneer Woman, her little uh, dog. Originally a light, I think. The cord's been cut. His nose is chipped. So unfortunately, we'll leave him on the shelf. Little bird decor and a mug stand. This hat looks like it was also a lamp. What else have we got? Contemporary candle holders. Lots of candle holders here. Some placemats. Christmas decorations have migrated through from the other side of the aisle. These Easter de decorations are still here. Here is a little hanging piece of wall decoration, cushion, somebody's tiger project. What else can we find? This is a piano course book. Sometimes these uh, musical score books and uh, lesson books can be worth a nice profit. So let's pop this in the cart. We'll have a look on eBay to see what current market value is. Some placemats here. These are a little worse for wear. Scratched on the top, so we'll leave them. Really big punch bowl at the bottom. And some metal decor. This looks like it would go on a headstone. I'm going to leave that. Vases, more artwork. And candle holders. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like soapstone. I'm not sure if it's a candle holder or a plant pot. It's quite chipped on the side, unfortunately. Soapstone animals and trinket boxes do quite well for me. I've never found a big piece like this. So I think I'm going to put it in the cart and again, look that up on eBay to see what the current value might be. More baggies, decorations here. This is a magic bag trick. Little kids magic trick there. <laughs> some lemons, some silverware. Always check these silverware baggies. You never know. A piece of sterling might have been snuck in. Oh, look. There's two more here of these Wobblers Woods creations. $2 a piece. So let's add that to our old fellow here. It's always nice to have several in a collection. Makes it more desirable. So that's exciting. Oh, and there's one more at the back here. A little lady to go with our gentleman with the beard. She has a little bell on her. She doesn't have a tag, but she's definitely the same style, isn't she? So we'll add her to the set. Let's have a quick look to see if there might be any more. Here, I think this was intended to be a wall pocket, but there's no hanger on it. Somebody's project, I think. It's a bit crude, so I am going to leave that on the shelf. More candle holders, seashell bits, another cross. I 
Anything up top here? We are here in the vases and florals and there are some baskets up top. This has a definite longer burger feel to it. I'm just spinning it around to see if I can find a mark on it. I'm not ever so familiar with baskets or longer burger, but I do have a feeling that most if not all longer burger baskets are marked. That one has a bit of a broken bit, so we will leave it. All sorts of clear glass here. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We're scanning the shelves here through all the clear glass, moving into the colored vases and planters. There's a piece at the back with a snake on it here. Let's see. As I pick that up, uh, I can feel it's very lightweight, not ever such good quality. I think this is a matching one. Similar size and shape. Let's see. Colored vases. Many of these we've seen before. They do tend to sit a while here on the shelf. It's a made in China modern vase. This is beautiful. Look at the speckled effect of that glass. Sadly, it has a massive chip on the rim. They're still asking $10 for it. We'll leave that. Some green glass. This we saw before. Uh, still has a massive chip <laughs> on the bottom corner. The other one I picked up at the same time sold really quickly for me. The green square one. This is an optic swirl blue vase. Here's a contemporary jug chipped on the side, very lightweight again. Checking up top, more baskets and a fruit bowl. Lots of florals. Through here I've spotted a rocking horse. Let's have a look at him. Quite old. Sadly, he is missing an ear. Quite broken. We'll leave him on the shelf. More planters. Silks and plants. Here's a little cloisonne style egg. It's an inexpensive reproduction. Quality is just not there. And as you can see here, uh, the cloisonne style paint has chipped away. Let's put that back together. Doesn't fit very easily. There we go. Oh, look at this beautiful teapot. This is Point Port Marion. Absolutely beautiful botanical design. Now it does have a chip on the spout. However, many of you collect teapots for display and to put plants in, you tell me. So when I find a gorgeous teapot of a good brand, I'm still going to pick it up because I do have a market for it. Bowls into the metalware here. This is a lovely silver plated basket. Let's see. Ooh, they're asking $25 on that. That's unusual for this store. Let's keep going. I am checking for sterling pieces. They will be marked sterling or 925 on the bottom. Those ones are plated. We'll keep going. Let's see. Fruit stands storage and racks more baskets up top here's a little lantern quite an inexpensive piece it's leaning to one side hanging baskets and fruit baskets paper towel holders and candlesticks 
more silver plate this is a flower sifter oh this is interesting this is a little religious metal piece jesus on the cross only a dollar interesting artisan creation we'll pop that in the cart this is a plant stand if that had been solid brass we would have grabbed it but i think it is just uh, plated metal I think these are fireplace grates those don't sell very well for me i've had a candle topped one in my booth for quite some time we are here in the kitcheny bits having a look and i have spotted this ray dunn ceramic canister it has a rolling pin on it many of you collect vintage rolling pins so i think this would be a really fun addition to a kitchen where rolling pins are on display it's four dollars so we have that in our cart let's keep going here lots and lots of clear glass as usual other bits mixed in candle holders too nesting bowls this is the base of a butter tray that i saw when i was editing my last video and on the shelf above was what i thought might be the lid to it so i am going to hold on to this for a minute to see if the lid and uh, the other piece it was attached to are still here oh this looks promising let's try this piece on it possibly a little bit too wide we'll set that there fingers crossed no it doesn't fit and it's not the right color do you see the different colored glass there it was a good guess but sadly not a match so I think we will leave those on the shelf $0.99 cents. I'll store that in my brain and uh, hopefully we will come across pieces where we can complete the sets. Baking dishes, creamers up here, little Mikasa piece. What else can we find? Nice bowl with pine cones on, very, very heavy, a modern piece. This owl is still here with his chips. Oh, here is our anchor hocking lidless canister. And there is the lid that was on it previously. <laughs> oh my goodness, this. This is the, ca the lid that matches that canister. Let's pop it on there. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, that is so exciting. Isn't it amazing how things just show up when you've already given up hope? <laughs> that is so exciting to me. $4. Original Ankarking glass canister with its lid. Amazing. Let's keep going. Where were we? Now that poor canister doesn't have a lid. Let's see if this one fits. Now, as you can see, it's not the right glass and it doesn't fit. It is such a shame how these canisters and lids get separated, similar to the Scentsy wax warmers and their trays. I wonder if this one is the right fit for that. And that one's too big. <laughs> I could be here all day trying to play match up with those. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Baking dishes. 
more bowls. Many of you told me that that was a fondue pot vintage. It's in rough shape, very bent and dented, the yellow one. What else? It's an interesting plate. Super duper heavy. We are in the utensily bits at the very end of this aisle and I've spotted a little plaque with hand-painted daisies on it. I'm a little concerned that the price tag might pull off the paint, but for 99 cents, I am willing to take a chance. Always check, as I said, the bags of silverware. You never know when a piece of sterling might sneak in. Have an especially good look when pieces are tarnished, as in this bag. This is an interesting silver and uh, gold mix in here. This one is gold tone. I think it is a modern serving piece. I don't think that's especially old. Perhaps we will pop this in the cart and have Miley look with her young eyes to see if she can see anything marked 925 in there. We'll zoom in. That says Siam, I believe. There's only one of them. I would guess this originally came in a set. So let's take a second together here to see if we can find these Wobblers Woods figurines on eBay. I know I'm going to purchase them because they're just so fascinating and primitive. I love the style. We've typed in Wobblers Woods in our search bar and there are some listed here from 10 up to 35. Let's just have a look out of interest in what has sold. We'll hit filter here. Then we'll scroll to sold items. Hit that, click off, and that will show us Wobblers Woods items that have sold in the past month. It looks like we're getting uh, Wobbler lures here. So I might have to drill down and add Arlene Wobbler to the search. While we're here, let's also do a search for our Ray Dunn rolling pin canister. That's what I typed into the search bar. We'll scroll down. We're still in sold items. One sold for a best offer on $25, $30 there, $40, $24. This looks to be a great find, a popular item that is selling well. They've just wheeled out a brand new cart, so let's take a peek in the baskets to see what they have. Look at these. It's a whole baggie of gorgeous little glass perfume bottles with stoppers. We'll take that. What else can we find? Let me give this to Miley to pop in the cart for me. That way they won't get broken. Some little cat plaques. These are lovely, but unfortunately quite damaged. So we'll leave those. Here's a bottle. This looks like an Ikea piece. This is a little box with a leather closure. It looks to be tooled, but I think it is just made to look that way. The leather is coming off the sides, probably pleather. We'll leave that as well. Some kitcheny bits in here, board games. Here we are in the mug section having a look. All sorts today. This is lovely. A little line of girls. It's a Snoopy one. Unfortunately, has a big ding in the side. We'll leave that. Little teacups. All sorts of sets here. This one is queen of everything. That's a massive mug, really oversized. Very fun. 
It looks like that is the theme today. There's another queen one and another. I am the queen, queen of everything, queen for a day. I think somebody's uh, queen mug collection ended up here at Goodwill. Let's see. Oh, this one is king of what's left. <laughs> That's lovely. Let's keep going here. We'll have a quick overview of these shelves. I'm trying to be really good in the mug section. I have quite a few in my inventory, as you know. So I'm waiting for those to sell through and being very choosy with the mugs I purchase. Unfortunately, shipping on a mug it goes up into the two pound rate and uh, that makes it a bit cost prohibitive to ship a 10 to 12 dollar mug. Let's take a browse through the glassware as well, just in case we can find glassy baby candle holders or any fire and light do check all the shelves of your Goodwill. You just never know what somebody has picked up, changed their mind on and put down where it may not belong. Sometimes you can find amazing treasures in a place where you would least expect it. This is a fun little bottle. It's a ship. Five dollars on that probably only about a $15 piece. Lots and lots of glasses. I'm taking a second look at the shelves just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I found a set of four of these little cat plaques. They're in much better condition uh, than the others were. Only 99 cents a piece. So we will grab these. They'll be perfect for my cat whatnot sale. We are back in the vases and florals and way up on the top shelf I have spotted this amazing metal piece. It looks like hammered brass. It's quite heavy. Five dollars is the price tag. I absolutely love this piece. We've made our way over to the small frames and artwork. Let's have a look. Lots of modern canvases, picture frames. Oh, look at this. It's a little wooden nativity scene mounted on a star, has a hanger on the back. That's absolutely lovely. It's only 99 cents. We've made our way into the larger pieces of art and over here, Elvis Presley has caught my eye. This is a metal sign. I love the design and the colors of this. It has raised texture and Elvis's signature is at the bottom. It's $5. The white sign is mounted onto a piece of black cardboard. It's just a point of sale uh, display. I think that's just a little sticky that will come off we'll definitely grab that and down here are a couple more pieces metal signs featuring the Beatles I think we're going to take those as well here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill bandit is here inspecting the hall <laughs> hi B hi Everything all right? First, we have this beautiful piece of artisan pottery. It is almost a drip glaze. It's signed on the bottom. It says Diane. Now, 
I know it's an artisan piece. It does have a few flaws, some bubbling in the glaze here and there's a chip on the bottom as well as some rough spots on the surface. Nevertheless, it is a beautiful piece. It would look absolutely gorgeous with some candles on it or some wooden or glass fruit. I absolutely love this piece. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $24. Next, we have our terracotta cats. Look at these two. The mama cat has a bow around her neck and her baby is snuggled under her chin. I think I mentioned in the video that these terracotta pieces look lovely in the garden, possibly nestled in amongst flowers in a window box. Uh, I paid $5 for this piece. I am going to ask $22. Next, we have this little collection of glass miniature perfume bottles that we found in the baggie. They just wheeled out a new cart and I was lucky enough to look down and see these. Fortunately, none of them are broken. There are five that have their stoppers. I matched them up the best, they could, best I could. And uh, three of them do not have stoppers. I believe I paid $4 for the bag. I am going to ask $8 per bottle. Back behind there, we have this gorgeous Port Merion teapot. So let me show you the mark. The Botanic Garden Port Merion. Unfortunately, it does have a chipped spout. It's still usable but I think it would be perfect to pop a potted plant in there, maybe a trailing ivy, something like that, put up on a shelf, because as you can see, the design is just stunning. We've got butterflies, a bumblebee, and beautiful wild roses there, some moths on the top. I paid $5 for it. I am going to ask $22. I was so thrilled to find this set in the box. The box a little worse for wear, nevertheless it is the original box. And now let me show you how this salt and pepper set is supposed to look. We've got a little mannequin head here. The other piece is a slice of cherry pie. and. The salt and pepper set goes like that with the beautiful cherry pie hat sitting atop the mannequin head. To me, it's a very mid-century style, absolutely amazing. A very nice piece. I paid $6 for it. I am going to ask $25. Back here, we have our brass vase. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's just stunning. It has to be ooh, maybe, maybe 18 inches tall, a little over, like a hammered brass finish. Really beautiful uh, as a floor vase, even as a centerpiece. It's just lovely, lovely. I paid $5 for it. And I am going to ask $45. Over here, I made a little display just to show you what you can do with candlesticks. This was the vintage piece we found today. Absolutely lovely. It was on blue tag sale, half off. I couldn't believe it, only $2 on this. It's got a lovely green felt bottom. And I paired it with these two pieces so as you can see if you put a matching colored candle in each of these the display would be just stunning your candlesticks don't have to match perfectly to look amazing this one we found previously five dollars this one three dollars i popped this 
peg candle holder into it. This would also fit here, but you'd probably want a bigger size. Okay, I am going to ask $20 on this piece, $25 on this one, and $18 on this one. And if you would like all three, just shoot me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com, and uh, we can definitely work out a deal on the three pieces. Next, we have our phenomenal Wexford pattern by Anchor Hocking uh, candy jar here. This is the smaller size I already had in my inventory. Just beautiful. I was so excited to find the matching lid to it. I am going to ask $12 on the small one and $18 on the large. Next, we have a Ray Dunn canister. Anybody who collects vintage rolling pins, this is the canister for you. Look how perfect that would be. There's a rolling pin and the word roll on there. Gorgeous, perfect condition. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $25. Next, we have our beautiful crystal ring holders. These make perfect, perfect gifts, especially if you are giving a piece of jewelry. Just the perfect little holder to go with it. Very unique, very creative. Just love these. I paid $4 a piece for these. I am going to ask $18 a piece. I was so thrilled to find not only this first fellow here, a Wobbler's Woods by Arlene Wobbler, but also the whole family. <laughs> We've got uh, the missus here and then a little bunny and a little bear on a cart. They are gorgeous. I paid, let's see, what did I pay? $3 on uh, the Santa figure here, $3 on the Misses, and I believe $2 each on these uh, little animals here. They're so primitive, so fun, made of paper mache and fabric. I love her little wire glasses and her nose. Amazingly creative. I am going to ask $20 a piece on these. Again, if you would like the whole set, I will definitely cut you a deal. I'm just looking at the old guy here, wondering if he was supposed to have something in his mouth, possibly a pipe. It's not there, so he, he will be, as is, still a fantastic figure. Next we have the King, Elvis Presley on a metal sign. This is a reproduction of an original metal sign. I love the colors. The uh, images are raised up, they have texture. Elvis's signature at the bottom there. I paid $5 for this one and I am going to ask $20. Let's keep going on the metal signs. I've got two Beatles uh, square signs. They are replicas of Beatles album covers. The Magical Mystery Tour here. And uh, Let It Be with all four Beatles. This one is probably my favorite. Really perfect for the wall. This has a little tear in the uh, plastic here. But uh, once the plastic is off, I think it will be in fine condition. I paid up for these, I think. I think they were $8 a piece. Yeah, $8 a piece on these. I am going to ask $24 a piece. Moving down over here, we have our little cat plaques. Look at these. I purchased these for my cat whatnot sale that's happening next Wednesday, August 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific time. It's going to be on the niche, the niche ladies channel on whatnot. 
And uh, if you're not signed up on Whatnot, please do use my code. I'll pop it on the screen one more time here. And Whatnot will give you $15 to spend. I paid a dollar on each of these and I expect to get eight to $10 a piece. This is beautiful. I'm very concerned about the price label pulling off the painted daisy. I really hope I can get it off with the use of a hairdryer. I'm going to go easy. Perhaps I will film it as a short, a YouTube short, and uh, we can keep our fingers crossed together. I paid 99 cents. It is a vintage piece. You can see the vintage hanger. Oh, it's lovely. It's going to be such a tragedy if it, that is ruined. If we can uh, extract the <laughs> label uh, from the surface safely, I'm going to ask at $24. Look at little Sally here with her Valentine's card. Love is a Valentine with lace all around the edges. So vintage. Look at that border. I think that's called um, the King's Key, is it? Almost an Egyptian feel to it. I don't know what that was originally on. Possibly a wooden plaque, possibly um, a blackboard. I'm not sure, but you could pop it on anything you wanted to. Um, even make a trivet out of it. It's just lovely. I paid a couple of dollars for it and I am going to ask $15. Next, we have our lovely wooden nativity on it, a star. Really, really great piece here. It has a hook on the back for hanging. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $18. Let's finish up with my two favorite pieces of the trip. First is this vintage wall pocket. It's a trellis with a blue climbing rose. It has some silk roses in it with a... Actually, I don't even think they're in um, the green florist foam. I think these would pull right out of there. You can keep them or leave them, put whatever you'd like in there. <clears throat> I need to tell you again, it does have an old crack. I don't know if it was glued and repaired or if it was just a crack, but you really can't tell if you're looking at it straight on here beautiful vintage piece. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $24. Last but not least, we have what I believe is an Italian made metal piece. It is definitely uh, reminiscent of Italian artistry. It's very weighty, super quality. The detail is incredible. It has a little leather loop for hanging and little feet to keep it um, exactly off the wall in line with that hook. As I say, the artistry is incredible on this. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $65. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Goodwill and the haul. As usual, please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of Bear and Rio playing ball in the park and uh, our hummingbirds in the garden. If you see anything you'd like to purchase, please do send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. If you have the high bid on an item, I will send you an email, followed by an invoice, and ship it right to your door. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. It's early morning and Bear and Rio and I 
are at the park. Their favourite game is fetch. So let's throw the ball. Here we ready? Bear is a bit of a bully when it comes to fetching the balls. He doesn't let Rio <laughs> generally have one until he has two already in his mouth. You ready, Bear? Sit. Bear. Good boy. Ready? Bear can carry two of these big rubber balls in his mouth at the same time. <laughs> and he generally doesn't let Rio have one until he has two. He got a bear. He's got two. Got one more in here. Maybe you want it? Good boy. Bear, you ready? You ready? What are you doing, Ray? Are you puppy?